Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from digital logic circuit. So let's look at the example first. Example 21. As you can see here, there are four inputs A, B, C and D. And for A, B and D, we will be using normally open contacts. And for C, there is not logic gate. As you can see here, this is a representation of a not logic gate. So for C, we will use a normally closed contact. And then with A and B, there is all logic gate. So we will uh, connect A and B in parallel with each other. And similarly, C as normally closed contact and B as normally open contact will be connected in parallel. And then A plus B and C naught plus B will be connected in series. Thus, we are implementing here and logic gate. So, let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this digital logic circuit. So, this is the interface of TI portal. I will click uh, on this option to expand the uh, option and then I will go to PLC tags and default tag table and then here I need to add inputs and outputs the first one is a that is input and then we have B C and D so we are having four inputs a B C and D and we are having one input that is Y so for output the address will be Q 0.0, .0. So let's minimize this and then I will go to program blocks and main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So for normally uh, for A I will use a normally open contact and then for B I will use normally open contact here. here. So I will open the branch and I will add a normally open contact for B and that I will connect in parallel with this A. So I will close the branch. So this will be A and then this another normally open contact will be B. And then there will be a normally closed contact for C as there is a not logic gate with C. So it will be C and then I will open branch for normally open contact that is D. And then I will close a branch. So this normally open contact will be D. And then I will insert a coil for the output Y. So here A and B are as normally open contacts are connected in series. Thus we are implementing all logic gate. And then here C as normally closed contact and D as normally open contact are connected in parallel with each other. Thus implementing or logic gate and C as normally closed contact represent not gate and A plus B and C not plus D are connected in series so we are here implementing our logic gate so for output Y to be on either A should be on either A should be on and C should be off or A should be on and D should be on or B should be on C should be off or B and C both should be on. So I will start the simulator. So I will start the simulator here. And after that, I will start CPU. And then after that, I will start monitoring and switch to project view. And after that, I will create a new project.
After that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tax. So here, as you can see, when I turn on A and keep C off, the output Y will turn on. And then when I turn on C, the output Y will turn off. And then when I turn on D, the output Y will turn on. And instead of A, when I turn on B, the output Y will be on. Or when I turn off D and turn off C, the output Y will be on. So when I turn on B and keep C off, output Y will be on. And when I turn on A, the output Y will be on. As you can see, the current will flow through it and C is, in, is uh, used as normally closed contact when in whole state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be on. And then when I turn on C, this C is a normally closed contact when in true state, it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will be on. So instead of C, we'll use D. So D is a normally open contact. In true state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will turn on. So instead of A, I can also use B. As B is a normally open contact, the current will flow through it in true state. And also with D, the current will flow. As a result, this output Y will be on. And then if D is off, so this output Y will not turn on. But when I turn off B, sorry, when I turn off C, this C as normally closed contact in false state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this output Y will turn on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.